I have been tinkering with settings with the Logitech C920, C930E, and now the brand new, or fairly brand new when I bought this, the Brio 4K Logitech, which is a great little webcam, not as good as a DSLR, but it does the job. So, I thought today I would actually commit this to video, the settings I use, a few things to look out for, and reasons why you probably can't find the C920 software to download for webcam settings. There is software you can buy on the App Store, but actually the native one that you can get from Logitech is, is more than good enough. So this is the link that you need to go to, this supportlogi.com. That's going to take you through to this page, which you can't find for some reason if you just go for the C920 uh, download it for the C920. You can find it on the C930E, but I've just given you the direct link through. You just download that version. This is the version that I've got running on the left hand side. So let me just bring back up my other stuff. So these are my settings that I run on my my setup here, and I'll explain my setup, setup a little bit, but I won't go too in depth because I know you're probably just here for the settings. I run two. LED lights, which I'm going to link also in the description. They are, I would say, about half a meter away from my face. This one's a little bit wonky. I probably should set that up better. They are on daylight mode. That's 5,600 Kelvin. It's a setting on the back with a little electronic up and down arrows that you can set. And that's going to be important as I run through these settings. So on the home page, I've got images widescreen. I've got anti flicker as PAL 50 hertz. I'm in Europe. Um, it might be different in the States. I think you're on 60 hertz in the States. I think that's to do with your power and your lighting in your house. And then I've also got HDR on, but you could probably turn that off if, you, if you're not bothered about it. It doesn't seem to make that much impact for me. I'll leave it on. Field of view 78, you could go with 90. That's going to make the shot even wider. I tend to use this kind of close up 78. Uh, degrees shot and then on advanced i have brightness dialed down to 40 percent color intensity at 38 percent contrast at 45 percent and then the crucial one is that i don't have auto white balance on because if you do it does this it just completely changes the colors or it would do but like it's it's a auto adjusted to 5 4 90 which doesn't look too bad on the screen but actually on the video it was, looks a little bit washed out but sometimes the auto white balance can have you like here or maybe even like up here. So what I tend to do is to auto set it myself by getting as close to 5, 600 Kelvin as possible. And I don't know why, but in the app, you can only seemingly get to uh, 55992. I can't get 5, 6,000 exactly, which is super weird to me. Another thing I'll say as well is the tracking on these webcams is not very good. It's not like a DSLR where it's like face tracking or any of that stuff. It doesn't have that. It's kind of working it out from the light. This, I think it's called true light setting or something in the camera. Um, I use the autofocus, but what I tend to do is I come into this app before I start recording and I click on that so that I get it to focus and then I tend to turn it off, then do my recording. If I'm going to be moving in and out a lot or moving around a lot, probably a good idea to keep that autofocus on. You won't get away from that auto tracking and it might look a little bit weird but I tend to play around with these the most autofocus and the auto white balance um, these settings give me the best tones for my face my skin everything you might need to play around with it a little bit more I suggest that you look at the footage on a decent monitor on a retina monitor to see what the color likenesses is like and then tinker around with these color intensities contrast uh, the brightness, I tend to not have that too bright because it just blows, washes the image out for me. The reason why I did this video is that I'm always forgetting my settings and I thought instead of me doing a search for the webcam settings and can never find the file, that I would actually commit this to YouTube so other people are looking for it. If you want to help me out, go to the links below in the description to find out what my LED lights are, uh, the green screen that I use and the microphone and arm which is in front of me, just below me. You can't actually see it but it's literally... If I just do it, it's literally here in front of me. So I'm talking at it. And then the lights are up at like eye height pretty much. Uh, and that's how I get a fairly decent looking green screen overlay. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Drifting slowly into an empty space Where I can go Just a roadblock for you, it seems It's never enough, but I 
Okay.